everyone and welcome to my first barn vlog in today's barn vlog we're going to be taking care of my two horses yes i know it's weird only two horses in a barn it's because i just bought the ranch and i didn't have time to buy all the horses so today i'm going to be taking care of just um of those two which are buttercup my new a young mustang and my old childhood horse painters so i hope that's good enough and that's going to be fun so yeah let's just jump straight into it but starting off with taking the horses to the pasture So now that the horses are in the pasture, I want to tell you a little bit about them. So this is Buttercup, she's my light Palomino Mustang. She's really kind, but she gets very easily spooked. And I probably have her just for like a few months right now. And I absolutely love her. And she's an amazing darling. Now this is Spring Meadow. This is my childhood horse. I have her like for 10 years now, and she's like the biggest darling in the world. I want to start training, I will start with Buttercup, so um, first I'm going to lead her from the pasture, then I always put on the bridle first, then I saddle, then I saddled her up, and she was actually being really nice, usually she's much more diffusive and you know, banging her head and she doesn't want to let it have put on, but she was really good this time, so I'm happy about that. Then I started leading her to the paddock and she was being really good. She just stopped once and refused to walk. I was very excited to ride her but then also nervous. So at the beginning I started with mounting her and dismounting her a few times. So she gets, you know, a little bit more used to me being on her back and like dismounting and mounting. And she was actually being really good which i was quite surprised about so then uh, we finally started in the walk she was really kind she wasn't so stiff and spooky as usual so i'm really happy about that um so like it's surprising she never was like this even in the trot she wasn't going too fast she wasn't refusing to do something but then it all went wrong when a dog ran by and she got um, spooked and she started bucking and rearing and she was trying to get me off her back and well it she did it i fell off of her and the second she like saw that i fell off she jumped the fence and ran away so i quickly had to get on my feet and go follow her i saw her in the field you know running around having fun obviously not wanting to go back to work i really had to fix this this is not the first time she did this she has to stop doing this because it's just not right but then thankfully when i came to her she didn't run away so i gave her tons of pats because that's great that she didn't run away from me so she didn't make it more complicated so i took her back to the paddock um i let her you know look around herself again then i mounted her again and the second i got on top of her she started bolting she really didn't want me on her back so i let her run as long as she wants so uh, i let her run so long until she was so tired she couldn't do shenanigans anymore and then i let her go into a canter because she had so much energy she had to use so she always used it on her shenanigans and you know so i made her tired so she just didn't do that anymore and then from that point on she was being really really good i'm really happy about it so even in the trot she was much more okay i gave her tons of pats she was like acting like such a huge darling and i'm really happy about that so because i just had to let her run it out so 
Then we walk a little bit more. I let her, you know, relax a little. And then I jumped off. I gave her tons and tons of pats because she literally did such a good job this time. Yeah, maybe she bucked me off, but that wasn't so bad. Then I took her back to the pole. I took off her saddle and her saddle pad. Then I also took off her bridle and put on her halter. She was much nicer now, and it was obvious that she was tired. So then I brushed her coat. She has a gorgeous coat. She was dirty, and I also brushed her hooves. After that, I led her back into her pasture and again gave her a lot of pats. And yeah, after that, I took off the lead rope and I let her enjoy herself and yeah the second I walked out of the pasture she started running around rearing bolting like <sighs> being better cup so but I was very happy how she was today so yeah after her I went to take my mare spring meadow just for a quick trail ride so she also has some movement um so for her i wanted to enjoy a good trail ride without anything so i just put on a rope halter and will rode off i didn't want to do that much because how i said she's quite older i just went into the field cantered around you know had fun with her After the trail ride, we rode back to the ranch and I jumped off her back, put on her halter back, brushed her beautiful lashes, buckskin, spotted coat. Absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. She wasn't that dirty though, but you know, it's comfortable for her. Then I also brushed her hooves. She has tons of rocks and dirt in them. And well, when I was done, I leaded her back into her pasture. Again, I took off her lead rope patted her and left her to enjoy herself. She started running around not that much, she just wanted to stretch her legs a little bit more and then she ran to the hay to eat a little bit more. So guys, this was the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that's not that long or it maybe wasn't that fun but the next video is going to be of me uh, trying out all the different kinds of horses and then in the second part i'm going to be trying out horses for the riding class which i'm going to be doing and in the third video i'm going to be showing which ones i got so yeah this is all i would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe so get notified when i have another video or even another brand vlog so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!